Next.js. If you know about Vue.js, if you heard about Vue.js, you have probably heard about Nux.js. But why it is so famous and what it can do? In this episode, I'm going to deep dive into all these things of Nux.js and I'm sure after this video, you will be excited to learn Nux.js. So what Nux.js is? Nux.js is a framework of Vue.js. But wait, Vue.js itself is a framework. If I go to Vue.js.com, we can see it says a progressive JavaScript framework. So this means Nux.js is a framework of framework. But what is framework? So framework is a tool to create a fast, scalable and manageable code. That's nice. And why we need Nux.js over Vue.js? Because Vue itself is a family of various things like Vue.js itself, then Vuex, Vue Router, Vue Renderer, Vue Meta, everything. So in the Nux.js, we include all of these things and Nux manages everything very nicely. And that's why, again, because it will help you to create a fast, scalable and manageable tool, it's a framework. But why Nux.js is so good? What are the things it can do? With Nux.js, you can create a server-side rendering app. You can create a single page application. You can also create static site generation like pre-rendered application. And with the Nux.js, you can have plugins install and use globally over the project. Yeah, Nuxt application are SEO friendly. That's most important part. Finally, you can use middleware to protect the authenticated content. That's very important part. But among these, let's first talk about the static site generation. In Vue.js, a general component will look like this. We have a template for the HTML. We have a script for our Vue.js or JavaScript part. We have a style for our styling of the HTML. And you can see it is say, scoped. That means this styling is only going to work for this HTML. If you remove this scope, this style will applicable to all of your project, which generally you don't want. Come back to static site. So whenever you create a static site, you create a pre-rendered application, then all these things are combined and transformed into HTML file of this page. Like here you have a pages or pages directory on your Nuxt application, then whatever you define inside the pages application will become the route. And here about.view, when you create a static site, it will generate index.html for that. Because your server doesn't know how to render your view app, but yeah, server know how to render index.html file or actually browser know that how to uh, render this HTML file. That's very nice. So if everything is pre-rendered, then what about if something changes? What about dynamic content? So let's say we have an e-commerce website. A user came to the website to add a product. But after that, that product is out of stock. Then just after that, another user came and he want to add that same product. But we know the product is out of stock. So we need, we need to show that this product is out of stock. Means we need to update our HTML. We need to re-render or regenerate the static page for that particular HTML file. But it will take some time. So Nux.js is smart enough that while this is generating the uh, static HTML file for that particular content, it will provide the data from the API, from your e-commerce API. And then it will update the product details. User doesn't know what happened behind the application he just see that just after this, as soon as something changed, we have changed on the user end also. And that's the power of a static site with Nux.js. Let's talk about single page application now. So what's the power of single page application? Yeah, content loads only one time. That means everything like JS, CSS loads only one time. Then whenever you navigate to other page, it's less like changing of component. And user feels like page is changing. Actually, the component is just changing, not the page. Then, yeah, because of that, the loading of pages is super fast because everything is just from the Ajax request. And 
because everything happens on the browser end it caches everything on the browser so like js and cs are delivered at the time it required from browser not from the server so that's the important point of having a single page application because everything happens on browser so we can effectively debug our application so let's talk about a normal request then we can easily see that what is a single page application in a normal request we will visit a website then request go to the server server responds with the html file then browser read html and it will request for js css and other content then after that server responded with all these things this process happens for every request even if you change to slash about everything is going to repeat and this will take time and that's why normal websites are slow but here comes our single page application suppose we have a list and we will click on some somewhere something happens or we navigate to some pages and that list is changed to like this what's the difference between these two uh, lists you can see just the content is changed yeah there is a shuffling of colors but doesn't matter the important point is the content the text or we can say the data so on and all we don't need to have the styling we don't need to uh, have the font or everything we don't need html we don't need uh, styling we don't need colors we just need data to populate here and that's why single page application comes into the picture so again we will visit the website and the first time yes everything happens again but as you navigate to another page because everything like js css is on the browser we just need the data to update so we will request the only data from the server or from the api it will respond it with the data and then we have this kind of a structure that means just the data is updated so this is why we have single page application with nuxjs but you know single page application also has some limitations like seo optimization when the google crawler google bot crawls your website because everything loads from the api it just see a blank page there is no change in meta there is no change in head tags so there's a poor optimization of seo for single page application then we have a security issue obviously because of these things we cannot scale to big things so to overcome all these limitations we have a universal app in a universal app we have a pre rendered data on the server and then all these things are come ready to serve like ready html to load because everything is set on the html we can easily manipulate the head tags like meta tags for seo that's why it is seo friendly and use nuxjs uses fetch and async function to create all these things for server side rendering so in a universal app again we visit a website we request data but this time because it pre rendered everything the html is having all these things like css and js files included inside the html and the content so let me show you how universal is a combination of single page application and the universal application so if i go to my website you can see if i open my tab if i just navigate to home page on the network tab let's clear everything now let's go to blog if i click on the blog yes you can see we have a ajax request to fetch all the blog but if i refresh this you can see we don't have any request for getting the blog yeah we have some kind of other requests but we don't have that request to fetch the blog because these blocks are fetched from the server and all these things are already fixed inside our html and that html is served with the uh, re response and that's why the universal app is a combination of normal application plus single page application so what nuxjs includes as i told you it includes all the view js family like view js itself then view router view x for state management view server renderer view meta and to learn all these things you can go to bitfinex.com/courses/viewjs it also include webpack 
Webpack is a bundling tool. It will bundle all your JS, all your CSS into one file. But to know how you can bundle view related things, view components, we need to add view loader to Webpack. Similarly, we are going to use ES6, ES7 type of things and to transform everything to lower ES or to normal JavaScript, we need a Babel transform and then Babel loader is also added to the Webpack. So all these things like these things, these five things plus these three things are already configured, already included in Nux.js. So you don't have to worry about all these things. That's why Nux.js is super, super cool. But among these things, the most important is view router because in the view router, if you're familiar with view router, you need to create a router.js file. You need to register all the routes with the components, but not with the case of Nux.js. In Nux.js, you don't have to create any route. As you create a view file inside pages folder, that, that the name of the file will become your route. And if you want to create a dynamic route, you can prefix with underscore. So let's understand this with this picture. We have a pages folder and inside I have created a folder called blog. Inside, inside that blog, we have an index.view. Whenever we have an index.view file inside any folder, that folder name will become the route. So the route is slash blog. Then we have a category slug. So underscore is there. That means it's a dynamic. So it will be like blog slash blog name or blog slug then it will have index.view for that also. Similarly, if you, go, if you can see here, we have a about index.view, that means we have a route for slash about. Similarly, we have a route for slash contact. And here we have a route for slash users slash the ID of user. And then whatever inside the view.js will be served, like view, like slash users slash one, slash users slash two, like that. So even if you name add dot view, we don't want any index, just the add dot view slash add is the route created. So on and all, how Nuxt.js is going to work, an incoming request come to the Nuxt, it will first check, is there anything to serve on the server? Is there anything to do on the server? If yes, it will do and store that thing on the store. That means Vuex state management system that will store there. Then it will check for middlewares on the Nux just config.js and it will match for with the, with the layouts, load all the components and then validate with the user who is logged in or who is trying to visit things. Then it will fetch some of the data from the server and then it will render the, the application for you or it will render the component for you. And whenever you navigate to other page, this process repeats itself. So this is the thing, this is the why Nux.js is so cool. Everything is set up there. You don't have to configure anything. You just need to focus on what you want to create. The time you spent on creating a router, the time you spent on having a Vuex state management system, the time you want to create on middleware system. These things are now minimized to zero and everything is set up with Nux.js. So that's why I'm very excited to learn Nux.js with you. And if you want, you can just follow me on Twitter at Bitfumes or you can follow me on personal Twitter account called Sarthak Sevi, S-A-W-B-Y. You can also follow me on facebook.com slash Bitfumes and visit bitfumes.com for more advanced tutorial and real projects. So we will meet in some other videos. Till then, goodbye.